et ouvrir an entire town in mourning brought together by an unthinkable tragedy. The memorial service gave the people of Lac Magantic their first chance to collectively honour and remember the 47 people killed in the disaster. Marie Semi Alliance. One by one, the names of the dead were read out, lives suddenly taken in the middle of the night by a train which derailed and exploded in the downtown district. A thousand people were seated inside the church, three quarters of them relatives of the victims. Outside, thousands more still clearly in shock. In a town of just 6,000, everyone knows someone affected by the accident. 42 bodies have been recovered, 34 have been identified, five people are still missing. There's no way of knowing how long the crash site will be sealed off from the public as authorities continue their investigation. But there are widespread concerns about the future of the town's economy. Apart from the media and curious tourists, the streets are virtually empty. Some businesses are open, but customers are rare. I hope this they can do something, rebuild the place, uh, either like say maybe a small shopping uh, centre or a park will be, at least don't just close it. Local officials are promising to build a temporary rail line just outside the town because big businesses rely on it to survive. My priority is the economy of this town because they are already facing collateral damage, like losing their jobs. Transport Canada has introduced new emergency regulations, including a ban on unmanned trains carrying dangerous goods. But that's too late for the victims and their families in a small community which will never be the same. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, Lac Magantique.